Hi, I'm Sarah and this is my son Andrew and he's a PO cadet at Maidenhead Sea Cadets. He was always a very bossy child, <laughs> very in command, always wanting to show other children what to do and where to go. And I really thought some sort of cadets would challenge his wanting to be a leader. And this is what it's done. It's, he's become a leader. He's challenged his um, bossiness into something more constructive now. And he's, I'm really proud of what he has achieved. The, the best part? I would say is the opportunity to meet new people and to try things that I would never have thought I'd done. So you get to travel around the country and, and even Europe. I've been to sea on a square rig ship, which is a flagship of the Sea Cadets. Uh, I've met some very famous people. If someone was thinking of joining the Cadets, I'd say use every single opportunity uh, that comes your way. I mean, a couple of years ago, I'd never have thought I'd gone to sea unless I was on a cruise ship. And I've gone to sea with amazing people and seen some amazing things. And I've just met people from around the country and it's completely opened me up to a completely different perspective of life. And I'm Chris Todd, this is my wife Jules. Uh, this is my son Alfie, uh, who's a sergeant in the Ash Manor CCF. So for me, um, from when Alfie joined cadets, Alfie always showed some leadership qualities. Um, what cadets has done is given him the opportunity to really expand on those and, and really channel those in a really positive way by the training that he's received. Um, and yeah, since he joined cadets now, which is yeah, best part of five years, I've really seen a development in Alfie. Uh, his confidence, his ability to speak to people, to present himself. So with all the challenges that are coming up now in his life in terms of applying to colleges and the like, his confidence level and that has been sky high, completely unfazed by all of those processes. And I think Cadets has played a major part in that for me. As always, I ended his own kit right from the start. Um, and that was, I mean, I perhaps showed how to press trousers to start with. But yeah, from that point onwards, Sunday night, traditional, out comes the ironing board, kit gets all mm. ironed up, ready for the Monday. Boots polished. Um, and, and what I've really noticed amongst Alfie and the other cadets, we've been on uh, uh, other events where the cadets have been parading, it's that bristle that they get, you know, that it's, it's that pride, pride. in that mm. uniform. Um, you know, Alfie will get me to check him over on a Monday, so you know, is my you know, tunic hanging you know, right, and is that looking good, is my cap badge, you know. And, um, and that sort of pride, that bristling, is really evident for me and I think amongst young people that's such a positive thing, really such a positive thing. Uh, I mean I would say my favourite part of it must be the camps that we go on mm. just because we're, we're doing all the things that we enjoy there but camp also brings out a sense of like unity and that we're sort of all in it together. Like on a Monday night we all meet however we've all come from separate things whereas on camp you know it's a Saturday morning we're all waking up in the same place and we're all going to bed in the same place it's like yeah it just brings a sense of family and friends. And there's a lot of fun involved as well, you know, he comes home from camp very, yeah, very yeah. tired. Um, but, you know, lots of stories of fun, you know, friendship and mm. fun, which is perfect. For parents, it's an absolute no-brainer for me because you'll see your child develop in a way you, you didn't even know was possible uh, because that's definitely what we've seen. Um, and it's been a wholly positive thing. The, the benefit that's been seen by Alfie in doing that and, and from us as a family, has been yeah, enormous. Mm. Hello, I'm Flight Sergeant Bonnie Young from 173 Orpington Squadron, and this is my mum and dad, Michelle and Nigel, and this is my dog, Lola. I enjoy being the cadets because it is your second family. You know, you are all together at the same time, you all have to bond and practically love each other. All the camps that we go on, we have in flying experiences, we have so many opportunities that are given to us and the support from staff members as well is just amazing. I love teaching cadets. It's one of my biggest passions. I love giving them not only their biggest opportunities, uh, but giving their best potential and allowing their potential to come forward. Bonnie's confidence level has changed a lot. When she first joined cadets, she was homeschooled. She didn't have much confidence. She'd been bullied at secondary school when she first started. So we took her out and she needed a social club to go to. Her confidence level went through the roof. She's achieving so much there that she didn't get to do at, at secondary school. 
and it's just really the cadets that have brought that out. The change in Bonnie um, has been amazing. Um, her ability to instruct and teach people, uh, it just comes across and it's enthusiasm. And the enthusiasm she gets teaching the cadets is above anything else she's ever done in her life. She, you know, we're so proud of her. Well, my name's Agnes Bailey and I have the great privilege to be the head teacher here in Ash Manor School. We were very lucky to be part of the Cadet Expansion Programme and in April 2017 we paraded for the first time and it has just been the most fantastic journey since then. I am so proud of my cadets. They bring so much to the school and it's a real joy to watch these children develop. They're not children, they're young adults, but by the time they finish in cadets, you can see who they are going to be. They have such a sense of leadership, they have so much pride in what they do, and it's not often that you see your nine children teaching their peers, those younger and sometimes those older, and yet we see it on a regular basis. We see them take responsibility, they organise each other, they organise themselves, and they are so responsible. They're just a joy to be around.